Hey guys, today I wanted to go over a little program that's been heavily requested from all of my students, and that is to create some kind of bad word filter for your chat. Uh, I get a lot of gaming developers in my classes, and so this is something that they have really wanted. And so I'm just going to go over a simple solution for that. So I'm going to start off by having a list of whatever bad words you want to have. And I'm not going to actually use bad words for it. Um, so I'm just going to say bad words. And I'm going to set it equal to a list. And I'll just have some random things. So I'll have star, table, sky. Okay. And you can put whatever you like in there. And I'm going to have some kind of string. And this would be the user's input. But for now, I'm just going to do a string sentence. Uh, so I'll say, I saw a star in the sky last night. OK. Perfect. Now I want to do a for loop. And if you want me to be a little more detailed on the for loops and you're not familiar with it, just click on the card above and that will explain everything. Uh, so I'm going to do for each. Let's see. Well, I want to do for each word. But if I just do this string, it's going to do every letter. I don't want it to do that because, let's see, so every word inside of string I want it to print word, but it's not going to print every word. It's going to print every letter. So what I need to do is I need to split this up word by word. And you can actually use a function called split. And uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to rename this variable. And I'm just going to do string dot split. And it's a function, and it's asking me what I want it to split it by. I want to sp split it by each space. So every time it runs into a space, it's going to split it. And it's actually going to put my string into a list. So now if I run it, now it's running every single word in the loop instead of every single letter. So that's working really nicely. Okay. Um, so now I can do a conditional. So if that word is in my list of bad words, then I want you to print the stars instead. So let's see if that does it. Cool. So I have two bad words in there. I have star that's in there, and I have sky that's in there. OK? So that's working. Else, if that, bad, if that word isn't in the bad word list, then I just want you to print that word. Cool. So I saw a star in the sky last night. Uh, I don't want them to be stacked up like this. I want them to be just go straight across horizontally as if it were a chat, because it is. Um, so the way I can do this is that I can join these back together. Um, so the way I'm going to do it, I'm just going to do a empty list, new sentence, I'll just say. And I'm just going to have it be an empty list for right now. And reason being is that I want to append or add this to there. So every time this loops, instead of just stacking on top, I want it to add to this list. And I'm going to join it to turn it back into a string so that it's reading horizontally. So the way I can do this is do new sentence dot append as a function. 
So I'm going to append the stars and I'm going to do the same thing with every other word. New sentence dot append and I'm just going to append that word. Okay. And so now I want to have it print my actual new sentence. I'll hit run. Cool. So now you can see it's in the actual list now, which is exactly what I want. But now I want to make it back into a string. The way I can do that, I can use the join function. So I'll do this. So I want you to join at the spaces, dot join. And inside the parentheses of the join, I'm going to put in the new sentence. Okay, perfect. So that's working really nicely right now. Um, so we have, this looks like we have the four stars, but I want it to actually print out the amount of stars for each letter. So if it was sky, it should only have one, two, three stars. If it was star, I wanted to do one, two, three, four stars, okay? So the way I can do that, really easy. I can go back here, and instead of appending specifically four stars, I'm going to take the length of whatever the word is, and I want it to multiply whatever symbol I want. Okay, so if star or if sky is three, then this will say three times star. So it should give me three stars. Cool, so that worked properly. So there's sky, or sorry, star, one, two, three, four, and the sky, one, two, three. So that's working really nicely. And of course, I can just, I'm going to use the input function, enter into the chat. Okay, so now I'm going to type it out and I do want it to say, let's see, so, so here's my chat box. So now if I enter something, I saw a star in the sky while I was at my table last night. So in my chat box, it shows up as I saw a blank in the blank while I was at my blank last night. Cool, so that's working properly. There's the same amount of stars as there are letters in each word. That works really nicely. And of course you can do different things to it. Like if you want the first letter to appear, you can definitely do that. But this is a good simple way of adding a kind of a filter on your chat features when you create a, a game or some kind of chat. Uh, so that is it for this video. If you like this videos, go ahead and hit subscribe so that you can see a new video. Uh, in your notifications. And I try to do these every day. Again, I am doing Python for right now, um, but I am going to move on to other languages as well. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.